guys and welcome back to Motorsport Madness and today we have something a little bit special for you guys. So if you've been following my channel for a little bit while you know my main course here is Formula 1. Both modern and vintage with a small side dish of sports car slash endurance and a light dusting of rally. But there's something that's kind of escaped me and this channel and that is touring car racing. Now, touring car racing has always fascinated me ever since I was a kid, you know, just taking just regular day-to-day -day cars and turning them into racing cars. So I thought, I'm just going to give this a little go. Now, just before Christmas, I downloaded a nice mod pack, uh, which is available by Bazza on THR Racing. And I decided to just have a little go in a uh, couple of cars around Goodwood and actually, I was very surprised at how enjoyable the experience was of just driving these cars around Goodwood and it was just like wow, okay, this could be fun. So I decided to do a little race with all these cars. Now not all of them, some of them were um, you know, not of the era of this video, so I've decided to kind of have the 1960s uh, cars here. So we've got Lotus Cortinas, Mini Coopers, Austin Healy's, a couple of Jaguars and MGB GTs with us on the screen. In fact, we've got 22 cars. I have no idea how this is going to go. I've never actually done a race in these cars before, so I'm going completely into uncharted territory. Normally when I'm doing a video, I know exactly what to, to expect, kind of. Uh, but here, I have no idea. And uh, of course, if you saw my latest post, you've seen that I downloaded a certain simulator called Grand Prix Legends, and you probably expected that to be the next video. But, um, you know, it takes a little bit of uh, practice, and uh, I have to say, I'm not quite up to the standards of racing other cars right now, so maybe this weekend? You'll get a video on that? I'm, I'm not too sure. But we're here anyway at Browns Hatch. Uh, we've sort of chosen a 1964 season and um, to, to pick our track. So our Browns Hatch, we haven't featured it for a while and it's always fun to race here. I've never had a bad experience here. And uh, it's of course the year Jim Clark uh, won the Touring Car Championship. And uh, alongside obviously racing in Formula One. So back then Formula 1 drivers just go off and do whatever they liked. Obviously Formula 1 calendar was a lot less busy than what it is now so it allowed a lot of drivers to go and explore other classes but that would be cool if that still happened you know just seeing I don't know Max Verstappen just going off and competing in Le Mans and you see Lando Norris <laughs> at Brands Hatch in a touring car race. That would be awesome but that's just never going to happen. So anyway, we've got a short race to do here. We've only got seven laps, which should be around 15 minutes. So, I don't know what else to say. I've set my grid position to random as well, so I have no idea where this is going to actually put me. But we'll find out. We'll find out. So let's head to the grid and get this race underway. So here we are on the grid at Brands Hatch, and I've got to say, this is looking stunning. I've set the uh, time to be sort of late afternoon so that the sun's setting and everything looks really, really <laughs> gorgeous. And uh, like I said, I put this thing uh, to set me to a random grid, grid spot, and it's put me 20th. Thanks, I said, of course, uh, thank you so much. So we've got a bit of work to do here, and um, oh. Got Lewis Hamilton in that uh, Mini Cooper. You, you see that? Yeah, anyway, it looks very nice. I've got to say, this looks right. And I did actually watch uh, a classic touring car race at Brands Hatch back in May for the Historic Racing Festival. You know, coming from watching Formula One cars racing around and then old uh, endurance cars, and I wouldn't say old, they're probably like mid 2000s. And then watching these go around, it was really good. They were proper going for it. It was a couple of quite serious crashes, but everything, everybody was fine, and um, it was really enjoyable. So here we are on the grid doing the same thing, and uh, this is going to be—I don't know—I have no idea what to expect from this. I really don't know, but um, well, let's find out. Okie dokie. Let's rip this wonderful sounding engine. Only 180 horsepower. And only four gears, but we are go. Got to 
quite a nice little start. But there's some cars already slow off the grid. I'm not one of them, of course. Got to get blocked by this uh, MG. I'm going to keep it in third. For Paddock Hill Bend. And I've got cars all around at the moment. That Mini, I think. Is that Mini? That sounds like that. I think it is. It sounds pretty good, actually. Oh, hello. Get friendly. Let's go right the curb hill. I've got a car to my left and to my right. This is not ideal at all. It's okay to make a bit of contact in these races. In Formula One, it isn't, you know. You've seen me plenty of times just tap a driver and he goes flying into the unknown. But so far, so good. This is pretty fun. Let's get, try and get a good exit. Don't know where the other car's gone. And, uh, this lovely Mini as we go down. I've forgotten. <laughs> I'm terrible names. Should have really looked it up before doing this video. Down to third. That Mini's still right on my rear. But luckily we're now ahead of him. So pretty good actually. But look at the way these cars are just throwing themselves about. I think the figures of physics on these cars are done really well. I can feel this Cortina that I'm driving swaying from side to side with every increment of steering wheel usage. I was going to keep it all nice and calm and measured but screw it. Let's go for the win. And this is still set to the same difficulties I had for the uh, Le Mans video, so I haven't actually changed it, so... Uh, there's uh, another Cortina got a little bit wide there, as we complete the first lap out of seven. Got a good exit as well. Try going to the left of this... Uh, I don't know what you are, I think it's a Healy. Yeah. Look at the way that Cortina's just moving around. Look there. Is this on the back of that car? Is he here? So let's take a break from uh, Formula 1 there. What does say Leclerc? Obviously it's not Charles Leclerc, but... Let's try and whip it into the inside here. And it worked. Now this feels like pure racing, I'm not going to lie. Because this is just car and driver. No fancy aerodynamics here, no... No ground effect, no DRS, no no driver aids of any kind. This is just pure racing and it feels like it. Ooh. Let's have a little bit wide there, but it's fine. Don't know why I went down second. It's a really nice second gear, this car. I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas, by the way. I forgot to mention. I thoroughly enjoyed mine. Spent most of it, well, all of it actually, with uh, family. Hope you all got some nice motor racing goodies as well for presents I actually got a nice uh, whoop, get a little bit squirrely there but uh, got a couple of 143rd scale models for my cabinet one of them was a uh, Ferrari 31268 that's driven by Jackie Ix in that livery that he won his first race in which will go well very nicely with my uh, Goodwood Signed Goodwood ticket. And I also got a uh, 143rd Mazda 787B. Hello, a minute. What are you trying to do? Go away. Now, this is an Austin Healy, I believe. No, it isn't. It's something else I've got. I'm terrible with normal cars. Oi, oi. Piss off. <laughs> Still there. But it's okay. It's touring car, that's what happens. Let's get right out the back of this car. 
I'm really bad with these these nares of these cars, despite the fact I picked them. But Formula One cars, I'm like, yeah, that's uh, such and such. Sports cars, yeah, that's pretty much uh, such and such. But these cars, I'm, I'm really just don't know. I think that's a Cortina. I'm basically calling everything a Cortina, I think. I wonder if this is, uh, if that was Leclerc somewhere behind me. This is, must be Carlos Sainz. We'll find out in a minute. I haven't actually looked at my, um, I haven't actually looked at my uh, pit board at all. I've got a couple of cars behind us. They look to be faster than me. Oh god, what's going on here? How are we going to get through this little thing? Oh, he's getting a bit wide, isn't he? He's getting a bit friendly, like Cortina. So I have to actually look at the back of these cars to identify them. Where do we go? Where do we go? Let's get to the right here. So we've got Gary in front. And I'm in P11, so that's pretty good. And I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> this is really fun, just like that truck racing video. I thought I did say 55 there for a second for Gary, but no. 955. But, uh, yeah, just like that truck racing video I did. That was really fun and enjoyable. But when I was doing practice in this car a minute ago, just to get a feel for this thing around here, it just felt so slow in comparison to what I normally do. Oh, Gary Townsend, hello. It felt so slow, I felt like I was just going on a casual drive, you know, I'm so used to driving Formula 1 cars around here. In fact, the other day I was taking a, um, what was I driving around here? I think it was a McLaren MP4 Dash 1, I think? I don't know, that, that era, 90, sort of early 80s. I just, you know, just get some ridiculous times. Oh, there's a bit of contact here. Uh, a little bit slow. Always diving for the. No, it's not. You are not doing that here. No, sir. Forgot to change gear, but we're here anyway. Makes a change just driving these lovely cars, and like I said, this is really fun, and it feels like the AI is actually proving to be a little bit of a challenge. Now, this is a Cortino, it says so in the back. Okay, come on in. Let's see what you're made of. Who's going to break the latest? Ooh, Maxime. Is that just a budget Max Verstappen? Yeah. Still there, still there on my right. No, it's not, not anymore. I win. Now, here's a Mini Cooper. I haven't seen any cars coming out the top there, which is unusual. Normally when I do, there's always cars. Maybe in a couple of laps or so, I might see cars diving down Paddock Hill Bend. That Mini sounds really nice, actually. I think I said that already. Now we've got... A Whoa, hello. Get away. See, now this is a toy car. I'm sure I could just go alongside him. Just give a little bit of a friendly nudge. Or maybe not. I'm completely missed him. Pick it up, let go. No, this is just brilliant, guys. I'm really enjoying this. This is racing. I haven't I had many like side by side runnings and incidents on track like this before. And just feeling like I'm racing. You know, that, that kind of feeling where everything feels like a challenge. Normally when I'm doing Formula 1, it just... A lot of time, I'll say about 8 out of 10 times, just doesn't really feel like I'm racing. Obviously the pure speed fills my adrenaline a little bit, especially in uh, VR. Well, I'm pretty much all the time I'm racing VR, even in my spare time, but... Uh, you know, it doesn't really feel me 
sometimes, you know, with the same feeling as this does. It doesn't really happen that many times, especially on a set of course. I'm not too sure about other. Oh God, I'm not too sure about other sims or anything, but uh, it doesn't happen often where I'm so immersed and really enjoying this racing feeling. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool, yeah. No? <laughs> this is brilliant, look at the determination on his face. He's determined to, to, to stay with me. Will he hit me again? He's right there, look, look at this maniac. <laughs> I've won. What was I saying? But yeah, this is just really good fun. And so it's been rare for me to be doing like F1 races and have such an immersive experience where I'm just really enjoying it and having huge on track battles and you know what do you expect from a, a race? But um, yeah, this is fulfilling all of these. I'm actually kind of annoyed that I've set this to seven laps. I want to do more. And of course, after this. Guaranteed you'll see more. The few will win this. Maybe for the last lap we'll just absolutely go for it. Elbows out. Is that the leader up there? In that silver or white car? I'm not too sure. But we've got a mini in second. Come on then. to the gravel trap. What was I saying? Well, that mini's back, guys. Help me out. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Went a bit too wide there as well. Now I'm making mistakes. Thought I'd go a whole video without making a single mistake. How wrong was I? Do you think there's been any retirements either? It's pretty. It's the first. That's definitely an MGB GT behind me. I know that because that's probably one of the classic cars that I'd love to own if I had the money. So I know the shape of them. I've seen plenty of them in the UK, they're just everywhere. Well, I say everywhere, in every sort of classic car meet or whatever, they're always there. All gone to grass a bit. That's the first. Never done that before. What's happened to me? Should have gone down second really, I was quite slow coming out there. But we're good, we're good, we're still going. The MGB wants a little slice of the cake. Keep it a close eye on him, making sure he doesn't slam into my arse. Racing never felt this good. Maybe I should do like a little mini like season of this. A little mini series. Would you guys like that? This is classic towing car season. I think you'd like that, wouldn't you? Let me know in the comments. And here we are now, we're about to cross the line, so sadly, I want to do more. Race over P7 from P20. Well, that was truly, genuinely, a fantastic experience. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect coming into this, but wow, that was really, really good fun. And I hope you've enjoyed as well. This has been an experience that I definitely, 100% want to do again on this channel. Wait, this is the cool down lap. Cool yourself down. I hope, I hope you've learnt your lesson, Roland. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I've done driving this. This has been an experience, like I've mentioned about a million times already. 
and uh, so if you have enjoyed I'd appreciate you leaving a like on this video and commenting as well what was your favorite part and definitely let me know if you want to see more British touring car action I might even try out some modern stuff you know British touring car or even DTM I think that'd be pretty fun there's um, you know I've always wanted to try those out so um, yeah so if you're new as well subscribe um, actually just before I go I'm going to mention a few things with the channel uh, in the future obviously we're approaching a, uh, a year on YouTube for this channel and uh, there's a few new updates with you know, refreshments coming to this channel in the future I've actually recently acquired a green screen and uh, what could I be using a green screen for? Well, you'll, you'll find out. Maybe in season three of HF1. Hey, hey, wink, 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 wink. And uh, <laughs> I'm also looking at doing a giveaway uh, for when we reach a year on YouTube. Uh, just a small one, not a major thing, but um, I'll post more details about it uh, in coming videos and posts on my community tab. So yeah, that's something what are you breaking for. But yeah, that's something to look forward to. I'm actually really looking forward to the future of this channel. And uh, so yeah, if you're new, subscribe and check out some of my other videos as well. We'll be doing very, uh, with yeah, getting really popular. For God's sake. <laughs> All right. I don't have a horn. What are they doing? Yeah, I've been. Um, Noticing a lot of views coming through lately, so I really appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, until the next time, guys, which will be this weekend as usual. I hope you have an awesome week, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.